This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. In this module, we are examining modern technologies for processing spoken and written language. One of the important techniques that we will be looking at now is automatic speech recognition. Automatic speech recognition is often abbreviated as ASR. ASR refers to automatic speech recognition and refers to any automated process for taking a speech signal, processing it into a sequence of hypothesized phones, and finally hypothesizing a series of words that correspond to the original spoken signal. In today's world, automatic speech recognition is a very commonplace tool. Probably the most frequent time when you make use of automatic speech recognition is when you talk to your smartphone or other device. Here's an example of a user asking her smartphone, Hey Siri, will it rain today? It doesn't look like it's going to rain today. So, how did the smartphone do that? Let's walk through that process. The speaker first utters a sound. So in the speaker's mind, a, an utterance is formed. The speaker uses their vocal apparatus to say the signal and the words come out as a sound wave. So at this point, we have a source, which is the person speaking and this person speaks words which cause a sound wave to occur. Now, at this point, if we had a human listener, the sound wave would enter the ear, would be processed by the cochlea, the cochlea would then send signals in the form of nerve impulses to the brain, and the brain would interpret those signals as a sequence of sounds, phones, and ultimately words. In this case, we have a device, a smartphone. In the smartphone, there is no ear. So in place of the ear, we have a microphone. The microphone is a type of sensor that is capable of taking sound waves, that is high and low pressure waves coming into the microphone and converting them into a series of electronic impulses. Those electronic impulses are registered and stored on the device. One of the important first steps in automatic speech recognition is called feature extraction. In feature extraction, the sound wave is examined through an algorithmic process and certain important features are extracted from the sound wave. So in the process that, we're, that follows, the automatic speech recognizer will not use every piece of information from the sound wave, but rather will extra extract certain features that are indicative and possess the requisite information to to recognize the speech. Those features are then in a time series. So the speech signal is broken up into a series of discrete time segments. And for each of these time segments, there will be a set of associated features, features extracted from that part of the sound wave. At this point, 
we make use of a computational model. In many cases, this will be a hidden Markov model, here represented by the train. The hidden Markov model is responsible for taking this series of features and hypothesizing a corresponding series of phones. The idea here is that the speech signal corresponds to words, and those words are made up of individual sounds, so the phones of the language being spoken. The job of the HMM is to hypothesize what was the likely series of phones that led to this sound wave being created. The HMM doesn't operate directly on the sound wave, but rather the input of the HMM is the features extracted from the sound wave. The output of the HMM is a series of hypothesized phones. The phones correspond to what phones in the language might have created that series of sounds. The result of the HMM can either be a one best prediction, that is a prediction, here is the set of phones, the sequence of phones that was most likely, or more likely, it can be a lattice. So a lattice of possible phones. Given that sequence of phones or lattice of phones, the next task is to consult the lexicon of the language. So this can be as simple as a list of words, or it could potentially be more complex. The automatic speech recognition process then attempts to use the lexicon to determine what possible words might have been spoken. In the lexicon, each word or other unit in the language will be represented as a series of phones. For some words, there may be more than one possible pronunciation. This corresponds to the situation where a word in a language can be pronounced more than one different way. After applying the lexicon, we have a list or lattice of possible words that may have been spoken. At this point, we apply a language model. The language model is a probabilistic model of the language. In many cases, this could be an n-gram language model or a neural language model. A language model has a probability distribution associated with the language. This means that for any given sequence of words in the language, we can associate a probability with that sequence. The language model is then used in this case to select the most probable sequence of words from the lattice of words that were filtered from the lexicon. In this case, the automatic speech recognition process starts with the signal, the sound signal, is recorded by the microphone, features are then extracted for each slice, each time slice of the sound wave. That sequence of extracted features is fed to an HMM, a hidden Markov model, which produces a lattice of phones. The lattice of phones is then filtered through the lexicon to come up with a lattice of words, which are then scored by the language model 
to come up with the most likely utterance given the sound wave. In this case, the answer is, will it rain today? So, we have a speaker who has uttered, hey Siri, will it rain today? It doesn't look like it's going to rain today. The phone, in this case, after having recognized the speech correctly, consults some back-end model, in this case a weather prediction model, and responds with, it doesn't look like it's going to rain today.